Hi everyone, this is Tracy. Welcome, welcome back to my channel. If you're experiencing some kind of language learning bottleneck or intermediate plateau, then this video is for you. In this video, I'm going to share with you five tips that I'm actually using to overcome my language learning bottleneck. My first language is Chinese, and my second language is English, and my third language is Spanish. Um, the tips or examples I'm going to give you in this video are mainly about English and Spanish, but these tips can be applicable to other languages as well. So the first tip is to always ask why. It's so important to actually know why you're doing this. After the video where I shared about my current Spanish learning bottleneck, I reflected on the reason why I wanted to learn the language in the first place. Reminding myself of the initial passion that I have for the language really helped me stay more motivated, stay focused. And then the second tip is to just keep learning and stop worrying too much about it. This is a comment that came up a lot um, in the comment section of that video as you learn more. Some things that just didn't make sense before will suddenly make a lot of sense. And this definitely is the case um, in terms of the subjunctive in Spanish. At first, when I learned it, I just felt, okay, it's all these structures and I couldn't memorize all of it. But even till now, like I'm watching a lot of like videos on talking about the subjunctives and every time I seem to understand a little piece of that knowledge a little bit better. And I just keep learning, keep learning. And a lot of things just started to make sense. The third tip that's kind of related to the second tip is to immerse yourself in the language environment. Maybe you're learning English and you love music, then you can combine these two by listening to a lot of English songs and then look at the lyrics and try to imitate that. In Chinese, we always say shi so the interest or the passion is the best teacher. So always find something that you're interested in. And then the fourth tip is actually I don't know how to translate this, it's like shifts your target. This is something I learned from a content creator called Man Gu Mao. He was learning Thai. What he recommended was actually learn some language you already know from Thai because there are so many more people learning Chinese in Thailand compared to people learning Thai and then there are so many more people probably learning English in Thailand rather than people who are learning Thai. So the result of this is you actually get a lot of materials in that specific language, in your target language, about the language you already know. When we are studying with a textbook, there's only one or two ways to describe a certain thing, but when you're learning Chinese or learning English from your target language, there are so many other ways they're going to share with you about describing one thing and then in that whole process you kind of build up your ability to think in that language you can just switch your language on the duolingo it makes a lot of difference and then the fifth one is you talk to a lot of native speakers and actually ask them to correct you when you make a mistake um, because at intermediate level you probably already have your own um, vocabulary your own ways of expressing things what if you memorize something wrong? What if you have been using something wrong the whole time? Then you need someone to actually fix, to, to point out those mistakes, right? Instead of just, oh, let's chat, and that's it. It's the least effective way to talk to a native speaker. And then if you don't have anyone you can talk to in your target language, you can actually just try ChatGPT. So these are the five tips that I'm personally using to to overcome my language learning bot bottleneck and if you have more tips please let me know in the comment section below but if you have been using one of these tips that i'm sharing with you in this video let me know how they're working for you and i'll see you pretty soon next time bye